Hello everyone and welcome back to Tenerife in one week where I share my experience of traveling around this beautiful island. Today we started our journey in the northern part of Tenerife, San Cristobal de la Laguna and its historical center. It turned out that the capital of Tenerife is not warm at all. It's nothing like south, totally nothing like south. So as you see, I bought the scarf, I bought also the pants. Wow. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna survive this. <laughs> okay, we still don't have umbrella. It's raining a little bit, but not too much, so it's okay. So at the moment we are going to um, Centro Historico. It is one of the Canaries Island cultural treasures and it's the representation of a colonial Spanish city without walls. It has the best preserved and the most beautiful old towns in all of Tenerife and has the eldest title of UNESCO World Heritage Site since the end of 20th century. However, we weren't lucky and the weather was not pleasant at all. Well, it is raining. It doesn't feel like we're in Tenerife at all. It's cold and rainy and well, this is not my favorite part of this island, definitely. But we had to see the old town, we had to see the main city, the biggest city here, Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Okay, we hope to find something really impressive to see. The next thing we visited was Auditorio de Tenerife in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The majestic profile of Auditorium has become an architectural symbol of the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, the island of Tenerife and the Canary Islands. It is also regarded as the finest contemporary building in the Canary Islands and one of the most emblematic buildings of Spanish architecture. The next day we started without any plan, we just wanted to see some of the beaches on the southwest coast of Tenerife. We are looking for a beach with palm trees uh, that we could make some nice photos. Our daughter found some uh, inspiration in Instagram and she wants to make photo like in Maldives. Okay, we understand this is not Maldives and it's not so easy to find palm trees and it's so much beautiful but we're looking and we found this beach that has really nice palm trees but the sand is not really nice, it's a bit dark but I think it's okay, we can make some. And here we found the perfect palm tree. The next beaches, Playa de Santiago and my most favorite, Playa de la Arena. Well, now we are in Los Gigantes and we found this amazing beach where it's called Las Arenas. Uh, the sand is totally black, it's something really, really amazing and I know it's hard to show this in video but it's shining, it's literally shining and it's so black, it's a really impressive place. The natural volcanic black sand is common in Tenerife, however, it's still very stunning. Black sand tends to heat very fast, so make sure you have your flip-flops while going to the beach. Later that day we came for a walk on the coastline of Los Cristianos. Okay, 
This is weird. I'm from a small country, from Lithuania. And here in Tenerife, it looks like we occupied this island totally. Everywhere we go, everybody hear my language. Literally everywhere. Today with a dinner in Restaurante El Maison in Puerto Santiago. Delicious food, cozy atmosphere and amazing stuff. If you like this video, please push the like button, subscribe channel for more videos and check the other episodes.